right. Okay, welcome everybody. This is the Post Summit Surge team call, our little team huddle. I am super excited to have a fireside chat with y'all and talk about some exciting things that are going to be heading up in the next six weeks. Um, for those who are new on our team and might be watching this as a recording, my name is Joy Bowen and myself and Andrew, who is up in the, I don't know if you can see him on the screen, but he's in the, he's the handsome man in the blue shirt with all of the Star Wars posters behind him. We are co-founders of Team Rising Phoenix. And this call is just to, um, talk about what we just heard from Carl, from Chris, um, from Jessica and from Kim and to dialogue about summit and to also as a team make sure that we are all you know moving forward confidently in the in the next six weeks because it's a very strategic time of the year so let me go ahead and share my screen here dun, dun, dun. oh i hear someone i gotta mute someone else hold on a second before i do that i don't know I think everyone was muted, but I hear some clinkety clinks. So let me try to find it. Um, anyway, did you guys like the new logo? I am. Um, I love the chat feature in um, Zoom. So if you guys want to chat while we are, are doing that, let me pull that open. Um, we have the chat open there for you guys to comment, but um yeah pretty exciting stuff you guys um from summit and so we just thought that our team uh needed a fresh fresh representation if you will so welcome rising phoenix international uh we are official which is so cool we actually do have coaches all throughout the united states and canada and um hopefully you guys heard some of the announcements from summit but um team beachbody is officially going to be kicking off in uh, the UK in October. So that's coming up super fast, you guys. Um, so now is the time to start, you know, asking your friends who know somebody, you know, in the UK so that you can connect with them. Um, so it's not too soon. It actually is perfect timing. In fact, one of the one of the super um, amazing UK gals that I'm talking to, uh, when I invited her to our sneak peek, she said, um, oh my gosh, I just heard about this opportunity um, yesterday. <laughs> so like it's beginning to trickle out. So you want to make sure that you're on the front end of that and that you're the one asking someone to come be a part of your team. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. It's super exciting stuff. Um, I wanted to kick off tonight just by sharing a little bit of our summit takeaways from some of our coaches on the team. Um, it was a phenomenal event. There was like a fire hose of information and to have Brendan Burchard and um, uh, Darren Hardy all under the same roof in one weekend was like mind blowing awesome. So um, I would love, Delise, you wanna share for just a few minutes on, um, I'm unmuting you, Daryl. Do you wanna share what your aha moment or your takeaway was from Summit? Yes, I had five. Can we wanna share one? You can do, let's just try to keep it under five minutes. Let me <laughs> That's what it was. Everything. That's what it was, five minutes. Um, yes, so the one thing that um, I definitely took away was the whole term, um, I am Beachbody. And I was thinking that's what I was going to be talking about tonight anyway. So um, I, I definitely left meeting more people, kind of getting a bigger vision of Beachbody in general. And rather than thinking that it's I am Beachbody, I definitely got a vision that it's we are Beachbody. And I don't know that Carl said that or anybody else said that. Um, I just felt like that's what I took away was that we're talking moms and dads and gosh, 20 year olds that are taking this opportunity up to people as old as me in the hills um and so taking the opportunity and then it kind of comes down to everything that we do in our lives comes down to choices that we make um that was kind of the root control factor they talked about um whether it's what we put in our mouth how we lead our lives how we have our relationships and our kids um our work our ethics all of that so it just comes down to the, con the choices that we make so for me rather than thinking i'm the only one out here doing this beach body gig 
because sometimes you can kind of feel alone in that, even though you have a great coach or you have a great team, you do sometimes feel a little bit alone. So I had to remind myself that I'm always able to reach to um, people that have either been in the business a little bit longer or just go back to what I know is good for me that works for me. And so that makes us, we are Beachbody rather than me solo. Um, my other little quick takeaways, of course, Darren Hardy was fabulous. Um, Brenda Burchard was, was amazing. Um, I love Darren Hardy. He talked about this pendulum swing that, um, what was that guy's name? He read a book or Will Schmidt or somebody that he talks about if you push the pendulum one way, it's going to obviously go back just as strong the other direction. And so I think a tendency in this business is to push a little bit and stay right where we're comfortable and continue those habits. And then the only way though to push a little bit harder is to get out of your comfort zone. And so reading books on self-development helps immensely. If you're not doing that, I would suggest it 10 minutes a day. That's per part of what we have to do as coaches, right? Joy, is that correct? Yep. Personal development every day, 10 minutes. It was my hardest thing to accomplish and um, I'm getting there. So thrilled about that. Um, the innovation of this company between the technology upgrades that they're about to do, the UK that Joy mentioned, um, reaching out to families and listening to them about what they want for their kids with the whole nutrition, and even more so, I'm more excited about the buddy, um, the double time workouts with Tony Horton, because that would have been me when my kids were little. I would have been doing Tony Horton every night if they had had something like that. Um, I think I had the Delise Bissett show back in the day because I made my boys do that with me. So um, I'm excited about that. And then lastly, uh, when Carl sat in the chair, he took a chair and I'm not sure who was there that's on the call and he had an empty chair next to him and it was our closing uh, his closing comments to the entire, what, 20,000 of us that were there to speak to us one-on-one -on -one about what we're doing with this company and what the mission is. And when people have um, concerns about jumping into a challenge group or what Beachbody is about, um, he just kept saying, ask, keep asking the questions. So when someone says, oh, I don't think I can afford it, or they give you another reason, but you've already explained how that you can help solve the problem. Just keep asking. And I thought this was so funny, you know, and clever. Just, well, I don't understand. You know, I've, I've explained everything to you and I can show you how to get the results you're looking for. So I don't understand. Can you explain that? And I thought that was great because usually we're probably stopping at the no instead of trying to solve and explain how we can help them. So if we go back to helping people, at each and every step, just go back to the basics. You'll be successful and you'll move forward. So those are my millions of takeaways. I love it. Um, yeah, the, um, the pendulum thing that Delise was referring to, it was like on one side of the pendulum swing is failure and on the other side is success. And what Darren so eloquently illustrated is that you, have, you cannot have success without also experiencing failure. And so how he consults people is to like, you know, embrace this idea of going for massive failure, going for a hundred no's, um, uh, because that's how you're going to have massive success, right? Because the pendulum is eventually going to swing. So if you, you know, if you only stay within this, this movement of the pendulum, you're never going to have the kind of success that you want. But if you just go for it and you're like, you know, failure is awesome. You know that eventually the law of the universe says that you're going to have massive success because you just, you know, created so much momentum in your business. It's pretty powerful. Um, Lonnie, let me see if I can find you here amongst all of these people. There you are, sister. Are you driving? I am. I'm getting ready to pull over. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, be safe. Yes, um, I am. What was your aha moment, sweet sister? Oh, man. There were so many. It was so good. One of my biggest ones was the hundred no's. And Dan, my husband, went. He's been after me. Have you got your nose today? How many nose have you got? Have you got 50 today, 25? You know, he's all about go big or go home. And he, that was big. Because I sometimes get, um, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. I sometimes get down, like, think, oh, gosh. They said no. Okay, well. So 
this week I have stepped out there and asked and one lady just thought that you had to use a laptop. She didn't know that when I stepped out and put, asked her again, she's like, oh, I can use my iPad or my phone. So her no really meant I, she just didn't, she didn't know all the details. Um, another one for me was don't try to reinvent the wheel. It's already been done before, so trust the system and go through that way. Um, I also liked living with intention. Have a purpose, go after it. It's okay and allow yourself, I think his exact words were, give yourself permission to go for it. I was like, yeah, why can't I be the one to give myself permission to go? Let's do this. And then also for me, even as a teacher, I, we get caught up in um, the negative and the people that maybe don't like you or are saying, well, you're already skinny. What are you working out for? Or whatever. When there's 20 people that are pushing you and are really excited and they're all in, but the one person, I still hear the chatter in my in my ear and I'm like whoa but why did they say that maybe this is a bad idea maybe I'm not doing very good so anyways that one was was big for me and also another one was I was starting to sometimes you can get overwhelmed and start thinking about the numbers and well am I getting enough to sign up is, is am I doing this right and they said go back stop focusing on the numbers and go back to focusing on helping people. So I've really tried to do that this week and remember that I'm in this because I want to help people, not because of the numbers. Love it. So those were, those were kind of my big, my big aha moments. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm so proud of you for going. Adrian, you are next, sister. Let's unmute you. All right. What were your takeaways, your ahas? So for me, this was my first summit to go to as well, and um, I um, was in a room, I roomed with ladies that I didn't know, and so for me, um, it was all about making connections and building relationships, and um, we talked a lot about how even amongst our team, um, you know, you build relationships amongst the coaches on your team, but it's the same when you build relationship with people that you are trying to help. And um, just uh, not to be numbers focused, but to, but to be relationship driven, that's, it, it's not the right timing for everybody. It has to be um, the right timing um, for people to want to make a change, but then when they're ready, they're ready. And so um, just to know to continue to keep reaching out to people and um, to continue to share um, your own story. And um, one, of, one of the other things was is that this, this company is for everyone. You don't have to be the fitness guru. You don't have to be um, at the top. But it, it's meant for everybody to get um, healthier and to be um, to help their families because our our country is is a country full of unhealthy people and there are people to reach and connect with and I love that they are um, moving toward more of a family model where they're offering products for kids. My kids love my Shakeology, you know, and um, I love that now I can offer something to them that was made just for them. I loved hearing the research behind all of the, the products and the time and the effort that they put in to make sure that they are providing quality um, products for families. And they're, they're trying to encourage families to be fit together with, with the new workout um, that's coming out, I think, is it November, I think? I think so, double time, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, for me, having little ones and raising little ones, that's been big for me because I know a lot of other people in my same shoes trying to do the right things for their kids, but not really knowing how or having the right resources. And so to be able to offer things now to say, 
you know, this is for your whole family, I think is, is huge. So yeah. And parents need it in a fast, quick hurry too. You know what I mean? Like yeah. grab and go option. And so yes, yeah, daily sunshine, I tasted it. It's so good. You guys, I actually liked the strawberry a little bit better than the chocolate, but I liked them both. If that makes any sense. So super yummy. And if you are backlogged on Shakeology, if you have a little extra, go switch for daily sunshine for a month and give it a try. Cause it's really great. And, um, I'm praying that it gets a lot of kids off of fast food for sure. So anyway, thank you, Adrian. That was awesome. Okay. Natalie, you are up. I just want people to hear your story. Cause I think it's so powerful. Oops. I'm unmuting you. Um, so can you share a little bit with the team about how you started your Beachbody journey and then what, what kind, what led you to take these next steps as a coach? Sure. I'm just looking for how I do my video. I've never been on Zoom before. I don't know. Can you see me? No, huh? No. Okay. No problem. So, um, I, oh no, there we go. I just. Now you can see me, right? Yay! Can you? Yes, I can. Hi, gorgeous. Okay. I can't see myself, so I have no idea if I'm in the, in the picture. Um, so my, uh, let's see, I was, uh, there's an echo for me for some reason. Can, okay. So I was at a place in my life where I was extremely busy, um, and I had, I, just, I actually, I, and I was gaining a lot of weight. And so I remember distinctly sitting in my closet um, in the morning trying to get, I, I had to, you know, wear a suit to work and um, put on my favorite suit. It wouldn't, I couldn't get it on. It was like, I couldn't even get it over my thighs. I was so, and it was so bad. And so then I'm frantically going through all, like 10 different outfits and I couldn't, and, and, Things that I thought for sure I could wear, I, nothing fit. So I was more and more frustrated because I ended up being late to work and it was an important meeting. And, and, I, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is awful. I can't believe I'm letting this affect me in this way. So um, I went to a gym and I saw a trainer and he did the whole testing for me and, and, he, and I paid $900 for this trainer. And um, I went one time. And then I, had, I didn't have time to go back to the trainer. So that was a waste of money. So then meanwhile, I'm, I saw my friend, it's Carrie, who is such an inspiration to me, post on Facebook about this clean eating group that she was in. And what really resonated with me was that she said, that, um, you know, I decided, this is a decision, I'm just, I'm just going to do something about it. And something about her story that she, where she just really, she described how I was feeling and that's what really caught my attention. Like, you know what, do something about it. She says, I'm, I'm tired of feeling this way. So I'm going to do something. About it. So I'm doing this clean eating thing. And so I went ahead and, thought, Oh, it's only a week, it's seven days. So I'll, I'll do it. So, um, I did it and I felt good just exercising again. And so then joy of course followed up with, with me and, um, and just some, some background part of what, I gained so much weight. I had, I had gained 30 pounds in a, in about a nine month period. And, um, it's because I had taken, um, I was on phentermine for years and I have, I have, um, hypothyroid and I have polycystic ovarian disease and all, you know, those things are known to like make it hard. So I told myself, that, Oh, I'm just, I can't lose weight. And, and then anyway, um, so I, but it was unhealthy. I was having all sorts of health problems, um, kidney issues and all sorts of stuff. And so I decided I wasn't going to take it anymore. And when I made that decision, I literally within nine months, I gained 30 pounds. So anyway, I had to figure out how to lose the weight without doing that. So, um, so then I did the clean eating, had good success with it. And then I did, and then Joy, who was very pleasantly persistent um, invited me to continue and recommended the 21 day fix. And I have knee problems and I have arthritis and I have all this stuff. And, um, so I was really worried about any sort of every time, it seems like every time I had done a, a workout, um, program, I had, like I went, I did boot camp or I did, I'd always get injured. 
So anyway, she um, she recommended 21 Day Fix, but I wasn't a slam dunk. Huh. <laughs> um, so I, um, the money was, of course, you know, an issue for me at the time because I just spent $900 on a trainer and to justify that to my husband, like, why would I do that? And then do this and all of these things were playing my I, I know I don't have a ton of time here, so I'm going to fast forward to did it. I, I just did it. And um, and by the way, this is something that is um, I'm learning right now, too. So I was a little, um, the the um, signing up as a coach, right? Remember, I was like uh, a little put off by um, the auto ship thing and, and to sign up. And I had, and so... Um, that kind of threw me because I thought, well, wait a minute, what am I, you know, am I getting roped into this? And it, it seemed you know, weird. So anyway, that's helped me because now um, I really like the script that's available where it, it talks about, you know, that clearly. So sorry, I get sidetracked there. Um, so I did the program. Um, I, in in, in uh, two months, I lost 20 pounds. And then by the end of, I think it was four months, three or four months, I, I lost all 30 pounds. And then, um, and then I kept it off. But I insisted the joy at that time, this was over two years ago, almost three years ago, that um, I didn't want to be a coach. You know, I just really wanted to focus on my own health and that's it. And I had this hang up, well, a couple of things. I had a hang up about direct sales companies, you know, um, and I also had a hang up about doing business with friends and family. So I, um, and, and I have, um, what I do for my day job, I just felt like I was really worried, of, you know, about, I, I, did, I just thought, well, how would, I was worried, I had to get over my damn self, you know, I was worried about how I'd be perceived. So I didn't even, I didn't consider it. And, and so, but I just sat back and I'm seeing all these posts and I'm seeing, you know, uh, Joy and Andrew and just how awesome they, they were and just, you know, being on an island in their bathing suits and when I'm working and I'm like, what are they doing? That's so cool. <laughs> and, um, and then Joy leaving her job and being able to do this full time. And, but the thing that really, I think, made this okay for me to feel like I could do was the professionalism and the um, the approach? You know, I talk about pleasant, you know, being pleasantly persistent. I mean, that approach that you took, that you took with me. Um, you weren't. I wasn't seeing it all over your feed about like come buy this from me and do this. And it wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't feeling sold. I really just. <clears throat> um, so I really like. I appreciate that approach, and and um, and I'm doing that approach. And the other thing is, I love how you're you. Like you're you're just you. You're just authentic. You just get on there in whatever you know, just just who you are, and you're not trying to be someone different. And um, and that for me, I that, that's what's drawing me in even more for myself because I feel like in my day job right now. I work with executives and I work with, um, you know, with um, public agencies, schools, and, um, and there's a lot of politics and, and people are always judging me, you know, they're always like, because I'm an executive coach and I'm supposed to know everything about it, you know, which I don't and I tell them I don't, but I feel like I, sometimes I just would love, it. it's so refreshing when I can get, it'd be funny and goofy and just myself on, on Facebook and like, how cool it, would that be if that's what I'm paid and I can make a full living doing that. So my ultimate goal is um, I, I want to be seven figure earner in seven years. And um, that would be awesome. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. It, it's not, it would be awesome. It will be awesome because it's going to happen. So anyway, um, I'm looking forward to when I don't have to put on my suit and be like, you know, executive coach person and I could just be me <laughs> so oh, yeah. awesome. and yes you can totally be you because 
your vibe attracts your tribe. So I'm so blessed because our team is full of like minded, like hearted, like, you know, people who are on mission. They're, they're like us. They're people that we want to do life with. Y'all are, are, you're our peeps. And so it's, it is pretty awesome to authentically be you without any apology. And you know, your, your, your tribe gets you and the ones who don't get you, they're not supposed to. <laughs> so it's, pretty freeing. Thank you for sharing, Natalie. I just love you. And I'm so thankful you're taking next steps, girl. It's awesome. Um, okay. I just want to do a real quick plug before we go into nuts and bolts. You guys, the um, Coach Summit special is only on. Andrew, do you know the date? Maybe you can look it up, but I think it's only through the 23rd. Um, but the, the ticket right now is $145. You can get a free ticket to Summit um, I don't know who I don't have muted here, but I'm so sorry. Oh, it's Andrew. It's Andrew. Yeah, gotcha. Um, so $145, you can get a free ticket to Summit if you are a success starter, which means you've achieved Success Club the first three months in the business. Um, then Beachbody gives you a free ticket. But everyone else has to buy their ticket. And right now it's the cheapest it will ever be. It's going to go up to like 295 bucks. So here's what I would challenge you with. $145 y'all is a steal for what they put together. We had Darren Hardy and Brendan Burchard. You would normally pay like $2,000 to go to a seminar with Brendan Burchard just by himself. But um, you can have your coach summit ticket paid for with three all access uh, challenge packs. So I mean, that's just a no-brainer. You can help three people this month pay for your Coach Summit ticket and um, have a great weekend. Look at all those fun, happy people in that picture. That's all. That's our bigger tribe, y'all. It's so fun. We were sweaty nasty in that picture, I'm just going to say. Um, I want to do a little recognition real quick. Uh, we've got some people who are just crushing it lately. Uh, Kristen Cage, congratulations for being a first 60-day starter. Tammy. You are first 30-day star starter, success starter. Michelle Drysdale, also a first 30-day success starter. You girls are doing awesome. Keep up the great work, and you're going to get your free summit ticket. Um, also, I'm super excited to see all these names on the board so early in the month. You guys, it's going to be a great month. And with Shift Shop, really, we all have no excuses because that program, hopefully if you're in the coach um, challenge group, you know – how life-changing this program is. And um, I get chill bumps every night at our nightly check-in about like what people are sharing and how they're claiming um, just like all the good things over their lives. So definitely run with it. Um, also want to recognize just our June Success Club top coaches, um, Kristen, Andrew, Tammy, Delise, and Michelle. You guys did an excellent job last month. Super proud of your hard work. Keep it up. Okay. Um, I wanted to, um, like, un as you have something to share, if you could in the chat say, hey, I want to I, I share something and then we'll unmute you so that we don't all start talking over each other. I guess that's the best way to do this. But um, I wanted to, to talk about takeaways from Carl. You know, like, what does it mean for us and what does it mean for our team? Was there something shared tonight that, you're, that perked your ears that kind of was an aha moment? This is your turn to talk. Hello. Y'all are quiet. Andrew, I'm going to pick on you in a minute. That's okay. I'm ready when you are. Do it. Okay, so the big thing I took away from Carl when you start listening to what's going on is the stream of new stuff that is just going to be coming at us. You know, for those of us who've been in the business for a while, we used to, you get this surge when there was a new release. So when Court of Force came out or before that Country Heat came out, you'd see this little surge. There is now this just, I mean, think about it. There's a steady stream of releases that are coming and they're releasing stuff that is helping us build our business. So yes, yeah, Shift Shop just came out. And guys, do not underestimate what Chris is going to be doing in this group. I can't even, I can't. I cannot even, well, actually I can begin to tell you how much he cares about people. He called my son today because my, you, you all know the story there, but he called Charlie today. So I can't tell you that that's him. He's going to be doing that in our group. Seriously, Joe, I know. Um, the, but if you think about what's coming down the pipe, September is the new sneak peek. 
you know, it's, or not the sneak peek, the, um, the clean eating week with workouts. And now there's a seven day Shakeology sampler with a 14 day trial on it. That just puts people in your pipeline. Um, in November, we've got the, um, the, the buddy group or the buddy workout that's coming out. We've got the new Sagi workouts that are coming out. So a, a month of, you know, I forget what he called it. I don't have my notes in front of me. Forgive me. Um, but all that is just new content that's coming in that keeps people engaged. So that's, that's the key to the business is not just, Hey, sell a challenge pack. It, we're here for, thank you, labor harder. I appreciate that, Elizabeth. Um, it, it's not just for selling a challenge pack. It's to change people's lives and get and end the trend of obesity in America. And I love that he is, and the organization is thinking ahead and providing us ways to do that in a more diverse way in a way that keeps people coming back and coming back and coming back. So that's, that's what I took away from Carl. He didn't say it, but that's definitely what I've heard over the last two weeks. Yeah. I think that's been the massive shift with Beach by On Demand is that it's such a way to build a relationship with people and get them away from thinking about doing a program and toward thinking about adopting a lifestyle. Anyone else have anything to share takeaways from Carl or things that you rumors you might have heard from Summit that you were excited about? I do. Say it. Okay, so I know I talked about the um, innovation. I feel like they're very they're trying to be as innovative as they can. Um, and he made a comment that Beachbody basically had to Beachbody on demand had to grow up. And so I'm excited about that because I know that like um who was it that just spoke um that said that whole initial sign up process was a little bit off putting the way it was presented and i think a lot of that has to do with being a new coach you don't know exactly what you're doing at the first and that's fine that's completely normal like a fire hose um and i love that carl and the team is they're listening to what people are saying and i've heard in the past the rumor that i heard was that carl wasn't a big tech person and didn't really want to mess with that so whoever he's listening to I think that's great for multiple reasons. It probably means we're going to be hiring more people. And so that's great for job force. Right. Um, but I think, um, just the commitment to make our job of reaching more people a little smoother process rather than going to four different sites in beach body on demand, which I understand. Here's my question. Beach body on demand will still be tied to our office and team beach body, all of that in, encompassed into one. Is that what I understand? I will find that out with you. Okay. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just like the fact that he said they had to grow up and they recognize that if they're still going to be the leading, what they say is the leading fitness, you know, nutrition people in the country, then they have to step up their game and they have to stay there because technology is flying ahead. And trust me, I am not your tech girl, but I've come a long way, right, Joy, in about a few months. So I feel like I've come a long way. I'll pat myself on the back, even though it's not that great. And um I'm excited about that because if anything to make our lives easier on the front end so we can really help people rather than jack with, you know, poor tech. Yeah. No, the infrastructure that updates that are coming are super exciting, very yeah. user friendly. And they even have like um, suggested upgrades to purchases. So when they check out with a challenge pack, they're going to suggest, hey, would you like to add Energize to your cart? So, I mean, just a really, a lot of very exciting things with infrastructure happening in the next few months, which is going to be great. Andrew, did you, you want to say something real quick? Oh, sorry, babe. Okay, it's you're great, on mute now. Um, the other thing with the, with the, because I do come from the software background now at this point, if you listen to what they actually did, and I know some of you weren't at some of it, if you listen to what they were talking about, about a quarter of what they talked about was front end customer experience. Three quarters of their upgrades are stuff that helps us as coaches run our business and be more effective. So they're investing in us, which is huge because it'd be real easy for Beachbody to put all that stuff on the front end that's customer facing and then just say, hey, coaches can just deal with the office the way they've always done it. They're not. They're revamping all of it and putting it into, into a platform that's going to be able to launch everybody forward. Yes, it's super cool. So I wanted to just kind of... Um, in the shift shop test group, we, or not test group, I got to get that out of my head, but in our shift shop, massive group, we have like almost 150 people in our um, challenge group right now between coaches and new customers. It's pretty awesome. But we are um, doing our nightly check-in. The book that we're reading is called Relentless. Um, how to, I think, becoming, going from good to great to unstoppable. I don't remember the author, but Andrew will look it up for me while, <laughs> while I ramble. But, um, but basically, um, 
this idea of becoming relentless, like, um, means that you take ownership over your dreams, your goals, your ambitions that you, there you go. Thank you very much. Tim Grover. Um, it is phenomenal. Um, and, and basically that you're not, you're not here to ask permission for, for, from anyone to be who you are designed to be, or to like be the very best and to be unstoppable that you have everything within you that you need to go be a blessing to the world, to accomplish your dreams and goals. Like there's nothing that can stop you from, you know, leveling up or going after whatever it is that you want in this life. Nothing can stop you except for you. And I think that has been like the biggest like revelation over the test group experience was just kind of like this um, awakening of like, gosh, you know, like for as hard as Andrew and I have been running after this business, um, I think we were exposed to a different level of belief. I think we were, I mean, I'll tell you right now, after Chris calling Charlie today, my blood runs beach body blue. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's family now. And um, not that it wasn't before, but I'm just saying like the opportunity that we have. And like Natalie was saying that you can be authentically who you are designed to be unapologetically and that you can actually get paid to do that, to show, like I can get paid to show up in yoga pants, all sweaty, nasty, and ramble for 10 minutes, and somebody comments on that and gets connected to my challenge group, like it blows my mind. But that's truly what is available to everyone. You don't have to have a special skill set um, to be relentless. And in this business, like honestly, if you really think about those four battle behaviors, I mean, that call from Julie Boris, uh, the wake up call a few weeks ago was just brilliant. But she talked about how like our vital behaviors takes no talent. It takes absolutely no talent. It takes character. It takes perseverance and grit and showing up every day. It takes having a goal and um, making things happen for yourself, but it doesn't take a special talent. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be a fitness instructor in order to tell someone, hey, you can do this. Good job. Let's do it together. And that's the most beautiful part about this business. And Adrian even shared that earlier in our call today is that and this business is for every freaking person. I saw grandmas <laughs> at Summit, um, like grandmas. <laughs> and I share this story a lot, but like the first summit I went to, I, I remember getting like so fired up because they did um, stage recognition and a grandma in a muumuu, at least from what I could tell from where in my nosebleed seats I was sitting, um, a grandma and a mumu walked across the stage recognized as a five-star diamond. And I just sat there. I was like, well, if grandma and a mumu can be a five-star diamond, then surely I can too. And that's exactly the opportunity that we have as a team. Like if there are other teams that can be, you know, 15 star diamond, we can too. We're, I mean, we got everything that they got. What the heck? Right? So what's holding us back? Um, really it, the only thing holding our team back is our mindset. And so I'm, you know, one of the takeaways I had from Summit, and I shared this with Andrew, is that I think up until this point, um, some of you are gonna be like, wow, you have? I've, I've actually kind of held myself back a little bit in leadership um, because I didn't want to, there was this feeling that like, I don't want to scare anyone off, you know? I don't wanna push, pull, or drag, but then as a leader, like a leader also reminds you of the goals you have. A leader also reminds you to stretch a little bit further because they see the potential in you. It's not that I can make anyone on this team, you know, have goals or, or it's not like I'm going to drag you to go do them. But as a leader, I, it's my job to remind you of the greatness inside of every single one of you and to help get you unstuck. And I think for a long time in this business, I kind of like danced around all that kind of, you know, leadership because I didn't want to not have anyone, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to lose anybody's friendship. Does that make sense? Like I didn't want the accountability or the push that came from me or, you know, running really hard toward team goals together. I didn't want to necessarily lose your friendship because I love you guys. And what I realized is that's silly. I'm not going to lose your friendship. <laughs> based because I'm helping you run after goals. If anything, we're going to um, celebrate even more together because together we're achieving your goals. And so I had this revelation at Summit 
from Brendan Burchard, there was this leadership, I'm getting chill bumps actually talking about, but there was this leadership breakout um, for um, two stars and above or leadership ladder, I don't know, anyway, there was something you had to qualify for, but it was pretty awesome. And he was reminding us that as leaders, that is our role, that we are to lead from the front and not push people forward, but to lead, to show you the way, to shine a light on the path and to also remind you of your goals and how to get there, right? To gently encourage you, but also to be like a very, you know, confident leader. And so that was my takeaway. And that's my promise to you that if you have goals in this business, we are not going to let fear dictate our choices. We are not going to let doubt sabotage us. We are going to set clear and actionable goals and we are going to run after them together. And next summit, oh, holy heck, are we going to have the massive party? Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I want for us this year. And it starts with the next six weeks. So we're going to talk about um, team goals and then I'm going to let us, we got about 15 minutes and I promise to honor your time. But my, my mantra is that we are going to aim for the moon and we are going to, you know, if we have to, we'll land among the stars. So I am here to help set some team goals for us. And I need you guys to be all in with me. This cannot be the joy is out there leading on her own thing. <laughs> this has to be us in the trenches trying to change the world together. That's the only thing that I want. I don't want to be by myself. Um, so anyway, becoming relentless. We are going to talk about some uh, six week goals and I want to propose these to you guys and in the chat, I want you to be chatting about them and how you feel about them. Do they, do they frighten you? Is that something you can get behind? Um, are you in, are you not in, are you in, you out? Like I really want to, I want to be seeing some chatter here, but we have three team goals that I'm going to put before you. The first team goal is, um, over the next six weeks. I mean, really, this is, um, the, the philosophy I have been teaching to new coaches but we should be going Emerald personally every stinking month. That is how you grow your network. That is how you grow as a leader. You can't just focus on adding challenge groups as a business owner. You have to add leaders to duplicate you. That's the only way that you are going to be able to reach the amount of people that you need to. So team goal number one is to just add two. I want everyone on this call to add two new coaches to their organization every single month you guys that has to be a priority just like success club and so the team goal over the course of the next six weeks is for our t our whole organization uh rising phoenix international that's gonna get hard for me to start saying rising phoenix international we are gonna add 40 new coaches to our team by the end of august all of us together do you understand what that can do for all of us organizationally? It can create a tidal wave of momentum, each by us only doing our own small little part of adding two. Can I get an amen from the chat? <laughs> that is team goal number one, all right? Um, team goal number two that I would like to propose, and I want everyone in on this, we are leveling up. I mean, from now on, people are going to have to rise to you, like your level of, 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 of ambition, your level of um, activity. You are not going to the common, lowest common denominator anymore. We are not. No. So Success Club 10, I want that to be your minimum aim. Helping five people, you guys, is not much harder than helping three. It's just not. In fact, I would dare say that helping three feels harder than helping five because when you only set your sights on helping three, you take your foot off the gas pedal and you don't even try for five because you're like, ooh, I made it. But if you help five, guess what? Those five are going to talk so highly of you that the next month you're going to have referrals come in and you'll find five more. And do you know how much faster your income? Because yes, we want to help people, but we also, I want you to make money. I mean, you have families to provide for, right? So I want everyone to commit to leveling up and um, saying that Success Club 10 is the minimum aim. If you land on five, that's great. No pressure, right? But level up the expectation you have of yourself because you can do it. 
So team goal by the end of August, I would love to see us, just like Carl had that massive goal that he wrote down. I remember the number scared the heck out of me. 100 people. I want our team to help 100 people make the shift in August. That we had 100 people enter into shift shop, have their lives changed, have, have like, you know, chains of depression absolutely broken. Um, this is like, so missional to me, you guys, because of what we have experienced. And I hope you feel the same way. I want a hundred people to get into shift shop because I know if we can do that by the end of August, oh my gosh, we're going to have hundreds more into um, October, November, December. All right. So you got to do your part. We cannot hit, we can't reach a hundred people if you're not committed to, to reaching five. Do you understand what I'm saying? I cannot reach 100 people on my own. Kind of scares me to say that, but um, I need you to reach out and help five in July and five in August. You still have time to get it done. And then team goal number three, yo, did you know you can promote yourself in this business? Like you don't have to wait for some boss to come get you a seat at the table. You could just like pull up your own table and make your own chair like you get to promote yourself in this business that's it no one limits you in this business there's no boss that you have to wait to retire there's there's nothing stopping you and i want to see 12 rank advancements on our team by the end of august i don't care if it's you know a new coach going from coach to emerald i think we celebrate that big um, or an emerald to ruby or ruby to diamond or whatever it is like I don't care what the rank advancements are I just want people to take the lid off their potential and Go after that rank advancement and promote themselves. Does anybody want to be promoted in the next six weeks? Let me hear an amen um, So those are the three goals that if you're willing to I would love for you guys to go all in with me It's kind of scary to set these goals. I'm not gonna lie but um, I really think that our team is capable of far more than we've been doing, you guys. And I don't say that out of disappointment. I say that out of just like belief. I say that because I know, I know the leaders that you are and you have it in you. So I'm going to push you. And now is the time. Um, so I'm going to be posting this in the team um, group page. This is kind of how you can win the week. If you're a new coach or you don't have a tracking system or you just need to like have some direction on what to do, this is how you win the week. 21 healthy meals. Can you make 21 healthy meals for yourself? You don't even have to post about it, but I just want you feeling good. I want you fueling your body because you're going to need the energy. You are the most important thing on this journey, so um, we want you taking care of you first. We want you sending out 21 either coach invites or challenge group invites, but you got to send out at least 21. I'm going to challenge you to do more, but 21 is the minimum. Five workouts. Can you guys commit to no matter what? I don't care if it's 11.30 p.m. at night. Get your workout done. You are a walking billboard. We're going to be proof of the products, and you're going to feel so amazing um, for having getting that done. Seven Shakeologies. That's so easy. That's like my milkshake of the day. Um, seven new fitness or nutrition posts. Um, can you just not something salesy with the, the containers in them? Can you share a recipe or something you cooked? Can you talk about um, the burpee you did? Like tell a little bit of your story. Share, don't tell. Um, seven minutes of reading. Pick up relentless. Get yourself in there. Yes, there are a few swear words. I'm sorry, I didn't know, but just overlook them because the content in there is great. Um, three coaching posts, three recognition posts, two success club points from a challenge pack or shakeology a week, and then one new coach. That is your, their, your recipe to win the week. Um, the other thing, the other tool that's out there for you that I'm going to encourage everyone to get in. If you finish the 10 day coach Academy, um, I will, yes, I will have it in a PDF for you to download uh, on the team page as soon as we get off this call. If you finish the 10 day business starter Academy, you are welcome to join us in the donut shop. The donut shop is a collaborative effort of um, several uh, five star diamonds and above. Um, and we have coaches in there who are, who are pushing. They want to go to Rosemary Beach, um, which you all know Success Club is required this month in order to qualify, start qualifying for that. 
But basically, it's like a challenge group for coaches where you get to post, hey, I did my, I did my invites for today. And it really is, um, you get to talk smack to 15 stars. <laughs> yes, you do. And so you get to like, um, you get to have access to these superstar diamonds, that's for sure. But you also get to run together. And that is super exciting. But you know what? Just being in the donut shop isn't going to help you. You have to participate. So if you want in the donut shop, request to join the group. There's a, a, a timeline graphic that has kind of like your beginning steps. And then you just jump in every single day. You show up because no one's going to show up for you. No one's going to go chase you down and say, how come you're not, how come you're not chasing your dreams today? How come you're not working your business? That's you. That's the relentless part of you that you got to tap into and own. Lastly, I just want to make sure everyone knows that, um, we have a sneak peek happening this weekend. It starts up on Friday. Um, we still are kind of finalizing the actual like timeline of the whole thing this weekend, just because we're on the heels of Summit, but it'll be awesome. Um, so you can invite your dream team. What I would challenge everyone to do is send out 10 invitations tonight before you go to bed. I know you're like, Joy, it's 9.30. I, I'm telling you, do it tonight. Before you go to bed, send 10 invitations to the coaching opportunity from your dream team list, the ones that make you want to throw up. Yes, go grab a puke bucket. Just hug, just hug it a little bit. It just send all those invites out, and then you shut your computer and go to bed. That's it. And you wake up in the morning. Remove yourself from the emotion of the outcome and just be obedient to asking the question, if you have never invited somebody to consider coaching, I have your tool for you. Go to this bit.ly link, bit.ly uh, bit forward slash biz invite, and there are several examples there for you to follow. It's important that you follow the steps and ask qualifying questions if they're interested, but get them inside that group. Let your upline love on them and kind of cast a bigger picture. We edify you, you edify us, and together we all win. Okay. Whew. I'm all talked out, believe it or not. So any questions, concerns, anyone frightened out of their mind or super excited, I hope? So anyway, that's it. I really, I really, 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 really would love for you guys to um, embrace these team goals and run with us this month. It's going to be super exciting, everything that they've released. And believe me, Andrew and I sat down and we thought through these team goals very carefully because we want to make sure that they are goals that are helping you achieve your dreams, your goals for this business. And so, yes, it's a little bit of a push. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you can rise up to the occasion. So set the expectations high for yourself and run after it, guys. It's so worth it. After this weekend and what we got to experience, we want to see all of you guys up on that stage. It, do it doesn't feel right just us being up there. We want to see all of you guys um, up there next year. So start now. It's worth it. It definitely is worth it. You'll never regret it. Okay, anything else? That's all I got. I love you guys, and I'm excited for what the next six weeks will bring. Make sure you're on a team cup. If you are not, uh, reach out to me. We'll get, you, we'll get you organized and put on one for sure, okay? But that's another way that we can all run together. All right. Good night, y'all. Have a good night.